So the lead code problem we are going to solve is called kth largest element in a stream. Now we can see that this one is a lead code easy problem and also an extremely well like problem on lead code. The problem statement is quite straightforward. We need to design a class that where we can find kth largest element inside a stream. And we are told that we need to find the kth largest element in uh, in terms of sorted order number, not the kth distinct element. This is just to avoid confusion. Now let's see the requirements for kth largest class. Basically, we need to implement two methods. First method is kth largest method, where as an input we are given an integer k and we are also given an integer array called nums. Now amongst these integer array nums, we need to return that whatever the kth largest element is. So suppose the k given k is equal to three, we need to return that what is the third third largest element inside this array. Second one is an add method where we are continuously adding value to a continuous stream. And in that continuous stream, we are able to re uh, represent or return the kth largest element in that continuous stream. So with every new value being added, we can determine that this is the largest element inside the current k array. So for both the case, let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose this is the array we are given as an input and we are being told that k is equal to three. We need to find the largest element. Okay. So logically we can see that over here, the largest element is seven, second largest element is six and third largest element is five. So in this case, we need to return five as the answer that this is the largest element. Now say for the same example, this we took care of the kth largest element uh, method, the first method. Now for the second method, the add method, basically let's say that we are given k is equal to three. Okay. And this is a continuous stream. So first we add value number one. Currently we don't have any large value. Then we add value number two and then we add value number five. Now, so far, what is the third largest value inside this continuous stream? So the answer is going to be one. Then we decide to add value number four. So once again, what is the third largest stream currently? So third largest value would be value number two. So we will need to return to let's say we add value number uh, three. So currently, what is the third largest stream? So in this case, the third largest element so far amongst these five element is value number three. So we need to return this. So basically, in both the cases, we need to find that for any particular given input, what is the kth largest element now for the for this uh, add method you would say that hey we need to check for, for every single time so how can we do, do do that the idea would be to design a data structure where at every given moment we should be able to quickly identify that hey currently by adding this value to this particular data structure the kth largest value is going to be either one or two or dip three depending on the number of elements that are currently present inside our existing stream so let's try to see that how we can actually uh, solve this problem. Okay, so if we see the brute force solution for this problem, brute force solution is actually quite straightforward. Let's say for given input array, we can simply start iterating over every single value in order to find the maximum value we found so far. Then we can repeat the same process to find the second maximum value. And then we can find the third process to find the third maximum value. And that would basically yield us the result of, let's say if we are given K is equal to three. The, uh, this approach is very slow. Basically it yields in big of n square time complexity. So we definitely don't want to do that. So that is one option. Second option in this case is let's say that for the same given input, if somehow we decide that we can actually sort this given input, then it becomes very easy for us to find any kth largest element. So let's say in this case, the sorted array is going to look like uh, just all the values from one to seven. And in this case, the kth largest element, let's say our k is equal to three, which means we need to pick the th bottom third value uh, in the answer and we can simply return this one. So the sorting solution would work fine. But the thing is in order to create like from this non sorted array to sorted array, it's going to take n log n time. So, but this is still a much bigger improvement compared to our brute force approach. And this is actually what we are going to take into account in order to solve the problem. But the thing is not only we need to create like an add a data structure where we can store the sorted value and find or calculate the result, but 
for our add method because we need to continuously check for any particular existing value that is being added into the stream that what the kth largest element is so for every single time doing the sorting would not make much sense rather with addition of every single value we need to keep track of all the largest values that we currently have so far and for that what i'm suggesting is that we actually use a very popular data structure called heap that is specifically designed to store or identify kth largest or kth smallest element the approach i am suggesting is that for this particular heap we actually create a min heap uh, of the size k okay and what does min heap means is that it it stores the values in like the minimum order uh, in its sequence so let's say currently in our array we have values like 2 uh, and 4 and then uh, 1 something like this one so this is currently not sorted but if we try to put those va these values inside the min heap it is going to store values as 1 and then uh, 2 and then 4 so basically uh, we will have sorted values that are being stored and adding every single new value inside the min heap only takes logarithmic time so log n time so the idea would be that if we just have a min heap of size k that is number one scenario and number two condition is that whenever we find a value that is actually greater than the current value we have then we are going to pop this value out and then whichever value x we found we are going to push this value inside our uh, array and this should allow us to find the kth largest element very quickly let's try to see the solution i'm suggesting in action and then it would make much more sense so so currently this is gov our given input array we are trying to find the third largest element so what i'm suggesting is to create a min heap of size 3 okay currently this min heap is empty now we have value number four so we simply add value number four then we have value number five so remember because this is a min heap if there is like the uh, low value it needs to be at the very beginning okay so then we add value number five once again we have value number one so currently value number one is actually smaller than both four and five so we will min heap automatically would readjust itself and we would have values one four and five stored in this manner once again okay so now it let's say if up until only this point we want to find out that what is the kth largest element all we need to do is just simply check that what is the very first element present inside the min heap and that is going to be the kth largest element so not only this min heap is going to allow us to calculate the kth largest element for given input array it can seek subsequently applied in order to use for our add method as well and that's why this one uh, uh, one data structure is going to solve both of our problems so now currently the kth uh, let me just put down the answer over here okay that currently the minimum value is one so that we can find and this answer is for the add method and at the same time we will find this answer over here for the kth largest as a okay that will come when we reach to the end of this given input now once again we have value number two so currently two is actually greater than the very first value inside our min heap which means two should be our uh, should be in our min heap and we are going to pop the smallest value inside the min heap so now currently we have values two four and five once again the answer is going to be two because this is the third largest element we found so far in this stream next we have value number six so the moment we want to add value number six which means uh, two is definitely clearly smaller than value number six which means six needs to be added but with add addition of six four and five also needs to be readjusted so now four five and six so so far up until this point at this point the third largest element is going to be value number four okay once again now next element we need to add is value number three but currently three is actually smaller than the current value we have inside the min heap which means we don't need to do anything we can just simply skip over three as it would not be part of the solution next next is value number seven so for value number seven once again we will have to do the readjustment so four would be kicked out and five and six would be adjusted to have five six and seven currently our uh, uh, inside the stream the value is going to be five and uh, the answer is also going to be five that five is the third large third smallest element or sorry third largest element inside the given array so just by simply using min heap of size k and then having the logic that if the value we are trying to add if that value is actually greater than the current very first element inside the heap we will need to kick this element out and insert this value inside the heap 
then the solution would work perfectly fine if we see time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is going to be big o of n log n because for every single element we will have to enter it into inside the heap so that's why the time complexity is n log n if we see space complexity it is going to be big o of k where k is the num uh, the kth element we are trying to find because we are initializing a new min heap of size k and for those who don't know min heap also means a priority queue so th that's the logic right there so first of all we are going to initialize our priority queue and integer k a uh, couple of private variables to store them then we are going to have our kth largest method where we are going to store the values of k and also in, uh, initiate a new min heap instance uh, with the size k then we in for every single element that is currently present inside the nums we will need to add that value uh, inside our nums array so for that uh, rather than doing anything else we can just simply use the add method and now let's quickly also see the add method where we first check that if the current min hub min heap size is less than k then we are simply going to add the value inside the min heap if that is not the case then uh, we are going to check that if the given current value is greater than the current very first or smallest value we have inside the min heap then we will have to kick that value out and then we will have to add the new value we are currently at inside the min heap in the end we simply need to do a peak operation or the very first value element that is present inside the min heap and that is going to be the kth largest element for us and that's it basically so now let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code runs pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions which is pretty good it is excellent in terms of space complexity as well and once again the coding solution is present on our github repository so you can go and check it out from there thank you